keep it going for everyone you saw today. Right. How are you guys doing? Nice, two people. Um, I'm happy to be here, I gotta be honest. I am 36 now, so I'm having kind of a hard time relating to people my age. All my friends are having kids, they're buying houses, they're all trying to convince me how great it is. Like, everyone with a kid is like, hey, you should totally have a kid. You're gonna have all these cool new feelings you never thought you'd have, and all these great new experiences. And I'm like, I don't know, man, you sound a lot like me five years ago trying to convince you to take acid. <laughs> Look, at least if you have a bad acid trip, that wears off. <laughs> if you have a bad kid, uh, <laughs> you gotta die first. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to name my kid. I got named Diego. Uh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> like one time in fourth grade, we had the Spanish class, and the first assignment was to go home and try to figure out your Spanish name. That's right, this side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> it's Diego. <laughs> like, how much more Spanish do you think it's going to get? Like, I'm going to come back the next day and be like, Hola, me llamo Greg Sanders. <laughs> I, uh, I just saw a good friend of mine I hadn't seen uh, since college, and the first thing he said to me was, oh my god, you've like lost all your hair. And I was like, oh, you're still a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I resent him saying that, because I feel like, dude, I haven't lost all my hair. I, think it's, I don't like that laugh. Um, <laughs> I, uh, he's actually right there. Um, <laughs> I've lost all my hair. I think it's pretty obvious I'm still losing it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that laugh is worse. Um, I think that would be nice if you lost all your hair one day. I think that would be like the silver lining to go and ball. One day you don't gotta deal with hair anymore. But I still have to get my hair cut. Like, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> like, put yourself in my shoes. I go to a place. I sit down. I'm like, hey, will you cut my hair? And the guy's like, what the hell for? <laughs> and then he just jokes the entire time. He's like a little more off the top. <laughs> I realize I gotta get my hair cut more than someone with a full head of hair. Like, if you got a full head of hair, you let it grow out. You look like a cool dude. <laughs> if I let my hair grow out, people are like, that guy looks like he invented a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> then I gotta stumble around like, Marty, we gotta go back. <laughs> So then once, uh, and this guy was like, nah, man, I can't let my hair grow out. If I let my hair grow out, I get a mullet. I'm like, must be tough. <laughs> you know what kind of mullet I get if I let my hair grow out? Party in the back, apocalypse in the front. <laughs> I just don't think I should have to pay full price for a haircut. I think my haircut should cost $2.50. And if I try to tip you, you push it back. And you're like, no, you buy a hat with this. <laughs> But I can't wear a hat. I can't wear a hat anymore. Because if I wear a hat, then I take it off. People are like, <laughs> that's why you're wearing a hat. <laughs> I thought you liked baseball. Turns out you hate yourself. <laughs> and uh, people have asked me, do you really go get your hair cut? Like, don't you just shave your own head? Like, most people do that. And I used to. I used to shave my own head. Uh, but I can't ever do the neck very good. I have to always ask my wife or my girlfriend, Boker's in the room, and... <laughs> <laughs> that got annoying, so now I go to a place. I honestly go there, I pay $22, and uh, I went to a place to get my haircut the other day, and there was a lot of people there, there was a lot of people, so I was waiting to get my haircut. When I'm waiting to get my haircut, it just looks like I'm there to pick someone up. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and another bald man walks in, and our eyes meet, and we were like, oh, what are we doing here? <laughs> we just get out of here and shave each other's necks. <laughs> Trying to save $22 between the 44 
Uh, and speaking of my hair, I got uh, I got this new doctor, and you know when you get a new doctor and they start asking you about your history, your medical history? He's asking me all these questions. He was like, hey, you ever have trouble sleeping? Do you ever have coughing fits? And then he gets to this part where he's like, have you experienced any hair loss? And I was like, are you a real doctor? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. What do you think, like, what do you think, this is a choice? Do you think I walk into a barber shop? Just holding a picture of a sewer room? <laughs> I actually very the lead up top. I actually just had a baby. I just had a baby. Woo! Eight years ago, I had a baby. And, uh, <laughs> just starting to love him now. So. <laughs> no, he's about two years old, for real. My baby is uh, two years old. I think words are important. Uh, my wife had a baby. My wife had a baby. I own a baby. <laughs> That's not right either. The bank owns the baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's tough having a kid. If you don't have a kid, do not do it. I don't recommend it. Don't uh, have a baby with my wife. <laughs> no, that sounded mean. My wife is the most beautiful person that would let me marry her. And <laughs> uh, really like that about her. <laughs> But uh, two-year-old, it's tough, man. I wake up every day. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning, every day. Because baby, he wakes up at six, and I gotta get out of the house before that happens. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot because of this kid, too, and uh, trying to hide it. Uh, hide it. <laughs> uh, I drink a lot of White Claw, you know? I'm like, what, this is Sprite? No. Uh, <laughs> And I, I looked up some things about White Claw. I don't know if you knew this. Uh, White Claw was introduced to the market by the same person that introduced years ago Mike's Hard Lemonade. Isn't that crazy? Like, what a century that guy's had. <laughs> Can you imagine getting the same group of white people drunk in two completely different ways? <laughs> It's like the only way he could be killing it more is if he invented fireball and when frat guys go, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I gotta get going, so I'm gonna say one or two more things and then uh, drive my car into a hill. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I've been wanting to go to therapy recently because of that thing I just said. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I asked my doctor, I asked him for a referral for therapy, and he goes, why do you want therapy? Like, uh, did something happen? And I was like, no, I just want like a man or a woman to talk to on a regular basis about my life and my problems. And he's like, oh, you mean like a friend? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you need a friend. And I was like, this isn't helping, that's for sure. <laughs> I think one of the big reasons I need to go to therapy is because my parents got divorced when I was uh, younger this year. And <laughs> well, I'm 36. You're not going to get any sympathy. Your parents get divorced when you're 30. That's like being my age and complaining about being adopted. If you're 40 and you're like, I'm an orphan, people are like, go to work. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys been awesome. That's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, one more time for Diego. Now the other.